What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. So today I've decided I'm going to react to some more shark videos from the internet because we all love reaction videos, right? When people are out and about doing their thing in the ocean, every now and again, someone has a pretty close call with a great white shark. These encounters more often than not are pretty peaceful encounters, but occasionally they can be pretty dicey. So this video is going to be slightly different to the previous shark scientists reacts to shark attacks videos that I've done in the past because technically these clips that you're about to see aren't really shark attacks per se. But if you wanted to watch those videos, you can click these links here and give them a watch. Basically, I analyze the shark attacks from a shark behavior perspective and try and give you all a little bit of an insight. However, in today's video, I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts with you about each encounter and some of the clips that we've got coming up are absolutely wild. <laughs> Again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please take two seconds just to give it a like. It massively helps the channel. You know the drill. Cheers. Right, let's get stuck into some of these clips. So this first clip I'm pretty sure is a fairly famous video of a great white shark circling a diver that I have seen before. The guy filming is from Australia and I think the video was taken in Perth. So it's in an area where great white sharks frequent quite a lot. I think they've estimated the population of great white sharks on the western coast of Australia to be about 1500. So pretty quickly here you can see the shark come in really close after circling for a little bit and it actually lunges at the spearfisher with its jaws wide open. <laughs> Jeez. That is hideously too close for comfort. <laughs> then during this splashing commotion, the shark comes again from a slightly lower angle and it looks like it actually goes for his legs here. So I did read in the description that during this section of the video, the shark actually bit his fins and took a chunk out of them. So that's how close we're talking here. <laughs> okay, here we are. So we can see now that not only is this guy spearfishing, but he's actually got what looks to be like a dead snapper on his person. Bro, you got to drop that fish and get the hell out of there. A pink snapper is totally not worth it. <laughs> anyway, it looks like the shark continues circling him for a little while as he's making his way slowly back to the boat. Supposedly, this is a really edited down video, and I think the full one is maybe like nine minutes long. Can you imagine actually having to deal with that incident for nine minutes? <laughs> He gives the shark a poke on the snout with the end of that spear gun there, which is enough to keep the shark at distance from here on out. And this is definitely what I'd recommend doing if you have a spear gun on your person, of course. So I think what we probably got here is a pretty bold great white shark that has smelt the dead slash dying snapper and has come over to have a bit of a go. The scent of that dead fish is enough to send the shark into a sort of state of mind where all it wants is the food. But to be fair, it's pretty difficult to tell whether it wanted the fish or the guy. I'd lean towards the fish, but you never really know. Okay, next up, we've got this pretty short clip here, which I'm just going to loop for you guys so you can see it multiple times. We've got pro surfer Kelly Slater here filming a surf he was on. I think it was back in 2014. Again, this is in Western Australia. So as he drops into the wave, you can kind of see on the right-hand side here what looks to be maybe a great white shark. It's obviously really blurry because of the way the water is moving in the wave, but... If we watch it again, it kind of does look a little bit like a great white. Loads of people were debating online as to whether this was fake or real, but to give you my honest opinion, I'm really not sure. I don't know much about how light refracts within a wave and how distorted or clear something like this would be on a camera, but I think I'd probably lean slightly more towards it being fake than real though. I'm just not really sure. I think the reason I'd lean that way though is because apparently this video was uploaded as part of a GoPro challenge where the winner won $10,000. So I've got a feeling it could be digitally enhanced to try and raise awareness for that GoPro competition. And that would get more entries to the competition maybe. I mean, what better way to drum up interest than a viral shark video, right? There is a chance it could also just be a fish maybe, or possibly even just his reflection. What do you reckon? Fake or real? Pause the video and let me know in the comments. All right, this one starts real fast as a great white surprises this diver on his blind side on the left there. That's a real lucky start because this guy clearly had no idea there was a shark near him at all. If it had bitten there, I honestly think this dude would be dead. We can see again, it's another spearfishing video here, although it looks like he hasn't got any fish on his person this time like we saw in the other video. Although that's not to say he doesn't have any fish in a bag on him, perhaps. Spearfishers do do that quite a lot, to be fair. I think what's pretty crazy about this clip, though, is the visibility. You can see it's super murky, so neither the guy nor the shark is going to be seeing very well here. I think the description says it was filmed in eastern Florida, which does get white sharks in their waters. What's also different in this one is that the guy is scuba diving here as opposed to free diving because you can see those scuba bubbles there. So he's got the luxury of not having to faff around on one breath and try and get to the surface. 
and it also means he can hang low in the water and kind of keep his back to this reef edge. That is definitely a great place to be there as you can try and make sure the shark can't come from behind you. It's kind of what we saw Hooper do in the film Jaws when he kind of swims down to the bottom and basically hides in the reef from the shark. Anyway, the shark is circling around a few times and we get this interesting bit of the video here where it sort of swims upwards and gets a little bit spooked before the guy filming decides to give it a jab with his spear gun. But I actually think the shark there has been spooked by the scuba bubbles because it definitely reacted well before he lunged with that spear. That is pretty interesting and it just shows you sharks can eat easily be spooked by dive bubbles. He carries on giving little pokes and jabs towards the shark as it's circling around him, which is exactly what he should be doing in my opinion, because it's enough to keep the shark at bay. Damn though, can you imagine that trip up to the surface? Like in water where the visibility is that poor. This guy must have been using up his air so fast. <laughs> Okay, moving away from dive videos for this one, as we've got this clip uploaded by the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy in Cape Cod off the east coast of America. These guys are clearly doing some white shark tagging, and this is a pretty common way that shark scientists tag sharks. It's fairly non-invasive and doesn't involve catching the shark or bringing the shark onto the boat to tag it. Doing it this way, you can cruise up nice and close to them along the side of the boat, or in this case, the pulpit, and basically poke them with one of those long spear poles to get the tag into the base of the dorsal fin. It's the best place to put a tag on a shark as it's a nice thick area that's gonna hold that tag pretty well, and it's not gonna damage the shark in any important area of its body. But as these guys are honing in on a white shark that they've spotted, the shark decides it's gonna flip the script and launches itself at the guy's standing on the end of the pulpit. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> you get a better close-up angle of it during this bit of the video here. Slow down, you can really see that shark breach out of the water and have a pop right below where the researcher is standing. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> I think what I love about it though is that Despite just getting launched at by the shark, the researcher here is still determined to try and get this shark tagged and tries to get his lance into the water to get the tag on the shark. Serious props to this guy. <laughs> He's actually pretty lucky the shark didn't go with any more force there as that could have easily knocked him off the pulpit into those freezing cold waters. Damn, that was such a close call. <laughs> what a thing to capture on film. I think that one's definitely my favorite so far. Okay, back in the water again now as we have another spear fishing video here. This one was taken near Cape Town in South Africa, I think, which is notorious for its murky water. And you can see straight away the visibility is pretty poor. So he's diving down towards the bottom and, oh, this white shark blindsides him from the left-hand side, completely out of nowhere. Oh my God. This kind of stuff really does make you jump a little bit. It comes back in again for another really quick pass as the guy kind of keeps his eyes on the shark and points the spear gun in its direction. I think that's a really common thing we've seen in these videos so far, actually, which is some good advice in case you ever have an encounter like this. All the spear fishers have kept their eyes on the shark, obviously after it surprised them, but then they've also kept their spear gun in between them and the sharks. So he's headed back up to the surface here, popped his head out of the water and, oh, that shark again has followed him right up there. Christ, that is a really bold shark. When he's taking his head out of the water there and look back down, that shark is what, maybe a couple of feet away from him? <sighs> Just as I was giving him loads of praise as well for keeping his eyes on the shark. I guess it does show you though, you take your eyes off it for a second and bang, it's on you in a flash. They are so sneaky. This guy is so lucky though, and fortunately he's not too far away from this boat where he can hop out of the water quickly definitely not worth sticking around there when you've got a white shark that is that bold. I think that one was one of the few ones that actually made me jump to be fair. And with the sound on, it's 100% a jump scare. <laughs> and then finally, we've got a drone video from San Diego here. So this is kind of like a Malibu artist video, although it's not from that channel. It's from a different one called Great White Drone. Malibu artist wasn't massively keen to collaborate when I spoke with him about six months ago. So sorry to all of you out there who were looking forward to a collab between us. Although I'm pretty sure you lot could probably change his mind if you went and commented on his videos that you wanted to see a collaboration between him and Shark Bites. So if that's what you wanna see, go and comment on his videos. Anyway, in this video, there's a white shark kind of cruising around some surfers and bodyboards, just minding its own business. For a while, it's swimming parallel to this kid on the bodyboard before it starts to head in his direction. And then it lines up perfectly behind him and starts to get quite a bit closer. I can sense a few of you biting your nails right now. <laughs> 
But despite the kicking and the splashing from the oblivious kid's legs, the shark realizes that this is not prey and decides to head off in a different direction. You can imagine the awful tabloid newspaper headline for this, can't you? Great white stalks, oblivious child in near miss. What a load of rubbish. <laughs> I think I wanted to include this one at the end for you all to show you that despite the videos we've seen today, 99% of encounters with sharks are peaceful ones. And the majority of the time, you're not even gonna know that the shark is there. Yes, there's the odd occasion where you're gonna get a great white shark that is particularly aggressive towards a human, just like you might get an aggressive dog that might bite a person. The overwhelming majority of encounters end just like this one with absolutely nothing. No attack, no bite. Peaceful. So there you have it guys, some pretty close calls with the infamous great white shark. I really love watching videos like that on the internet and even though I'm a shark scientist, some of those clips definitely get my heart racing. Which one of those was your favorite? Which one scared you the most? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you've not had your fill of crazy shark encounters, stick around to the end screen of the video where you can click on two of my previous videos where I react to shark attack clips from the internet. They're pretty wild. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. It massively helps out the channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.